Jewel Pitcher. Why can we not steal it? You can't steal it. What the hell? Why? Oh, uh, weird. It's glitched. We we can't we can't steal this one. Hang on, let's just try a quick save. That might fix it. Boop. Yeah, we we can't take it. Oh, oh, it was like a glitched model. There was two inside each other. How weird. Oh, hang on, that was a jeweled flag, and this is a jeweled pitcher. Oh. Oh, weird. That's so weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, oh well. Problem solved. Task failed successfully. When we last left our dragon cat Steve, we were on our way to Windhelm when we were accosted by bandits and conjurers and bears and anything else that moved, there was a wood elf, and all sorts of random stuff happened, and we died a whole bunch as we got back into the swing of things after a kind of extended break. We even took on a small dungeon where we discovered a, an old imperial prison that was abandoned to, the, to a storm that was to wash away the tower and kill all the prisoners. And we found inside a bunch of ghosts, some spooky ghosts, that unfortunately had met the demise when the plan to escape had backfired and they drowned inside the prison. But now we are at a bear murder hut as we continue our way to Windhelm. It's the Elder Scrolls V. Welcome back. Right, so yeah, we've we've got some extra stuff on Janassa. She's now got some gear so we can move. We've got some lovely salmon here. Can we, ooh, we can grab these. So these are like the other ones that we can grab. I didn't know we could grab them. Ooh, look at it go. Yeah. That's game of the year material, that. <laughs> Let's take them, why not? We, we, we are starting to run down on the salmon. But, we're on our way to Windhelm! So let's go, we've got it marked off, let's let's carry on. It's kind of rainy and awful here at the moment, so we kind of want to press on as quickly as we can. Hopefully we don't run into any horrible, horrible things along the way. Uh, we did dodge the dragon, which is nice. Is that Kynesgrove? That might be Kynesgrove. We want to head- aha! Look at that! Pretty sure it's that bridge, not this one, but maybe the one before, behind it. I think we're right, actually. I think it's the one behind that. So we're not that far off now. It's got the creep cluster. I don't know why not? We'll get the jasmine grapes, sure. Actually, you know what? We should grab everything that we can along the way because we've got the carry weight for it, and honestly, we make a ton of money with potions, so we should be doing that. That should be something we do, just by default. To be honest, actually, this is something I've been doing in real life. I just today was out at a uh, well back back when we that's a bit of a story. We we had an earthquake in New Zealand, uh, in Christchurch, uh, about 10, 11 years ago now, and a lot of houses were destroyed, all that kind of razzmatazz. And what happened is a lot of those like plots of land that were just for you know, residential areas, they were left. They were basically left to, to we'll just chill out here while we tell the story. But they were left to kind of go back to nature. And some of them have been taken over and they've been managed into a sort of community garden as such. There's a lot of fruit trees in there. And I went foraging. We got some apples and some pearl. I found a gooseberry, a uh, quince. I don't know what that is, but we, we found them. <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing some real life alchemical foraging. It's uh, it, it was fun. Highly recommend it if you if you if there is a community garden near you or some sort of fruit garden where people can go and pick or just explore, do it. It's fun. We find all sorts of random stuff. We found what, lemon balm, which is like a member of the mint family, it's no and it's it's really something. nice. I want to grow some. It smells delicious. Anyway, we made it to Windhelm. That was much quicker than I expected. <laughs> but yeah, go foraging. It's fun. And let's see what kind of. Ooh, actually, let's get some healing magic. We are actually down a little bit on health. But we'll go inside and we'll see what kind of horrible racism we, we have to deal with. 
Because I don't think cats, I don't think Khajiit are allowed in, in all of the major cities in Skyrim. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. Well, why would they help you? Because it's not our fight. Exactly. Hey, maybe the reason these Greyskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Ooh, ooh dickhead. Hey, Savaris <sighs> Ephiron. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? Hell no. No, I don't hate the people. I don't hate anyone. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Oh, that's very kind words. Look like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that Has anyone thought to just throw a bucket at him? Like from a window? Just... he's drunk? Just biff a bucket at him? Why would they think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Hmm, interesting to see what he says to me, then. All right, then. I ain't yeah. asking for much. Just a few septums. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Sure. Oh, thank you. Try me to be a better pickpocket. Up How much no good, does it cost? We? I'll teach you. Ooh, all the money. You. No, we don't have that much money. Ah, uh, no. Right, where is... Who's he what's it? Where's the racist dude? Where did he go? To the market, maybe? I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? How long have you been in Windhelm? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Um, are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark hmm. Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are. And so they continue to dwell in that slum. Until yeah, next bit, time. Bit high and high and mighty, aren't you? What time is it? Eight twenty-two. We could go in here because I know there is a quest for the white file. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> just... <coughs> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Now, oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, <laughs> I would have found it by now. Hey! I'm so... Close to the answer. What what are you arguing about? Or what were you arguing about? <laughs> well, that's Just cool, it changed. Life I didn't know it did over. that. <laughs> huh. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. Well, I mean if you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. It's kind of my deal. You like I do that all do the time. That? Yeah. It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help oh, an old geez. man. What kind of potion does he take? With its he can teleport. Coral Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Coral Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. He's like a nice guy. What's that mean to him? Uh, why is the file so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. 
I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. <coughs> for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Yeah, okay, well, that begs the question, is like, why has he been sick his whole life and now it's just, like, catching up to him? Or is it just something that interested him early on in his career as an alchemist and then he's just decided to, to hunt for it and then all of a sudden he's got sick? I don't really get it. Uh, what is the one file? Legendary bottle forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. I've been there. I can dig some up if you want. The file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Mm, I suppose that is the alchemist's dream, isn't it? I turn something into something else. Why are you still standing around here? You just sent me. me the file, you fool. You're in St. Quintus, Nevada. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Do you think the White Vale exists? It doesn't exists? matter what I believe. Norellian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Well, why do you work for him? Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... He's not the best teacher, but... Just watching him, I've learned so much. Oh, all right. Until next time. Until next time. Yeah. Just jump over here. Oh, good. Let's get out of here. Still found that 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 racist dude. He just disappeared from sight, didn't he? Uh, all right. Let's go. Is he in the is he in the tavern in the inn? I'm pretty sure I have seen him in there. Spare a coin for a poor oh, no, it's you. Hey, buddy. Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. I think you're a horrible racist. You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Why do you hate the dark elves? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. What, what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. And you really think the Dark Elves are Imperial spies? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for I Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor are Elves too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. Ooh, that's a lot of vigilante justice that uh, I don't I don't sit well with that. I don't like your attitude. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. Oh, you're on, buddy. All right. Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what they're made of. Oh. Unequip the weapon. Wow, he's not very strong at all. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, you tell us. <laughs> that wasn't a fair swing. Oh, it totally was. Totally was. Give us my money. Is, it, is that is that it? You lost. Give me my money. Here. Jerk. Ah, oh, right. I think we should probably rest the night. To be honest. Let's have a look around Candle Half Hall. Poor Nilsine has been wrecked since her sister hey, was killed. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Um, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Why is it called Candle Half Hall? Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago, back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durot lit the candle in his honor. 
Nobody knows why it still burns. Of course, shenanigans. I don't believe that's been lit for 163 years. Well, as I say in that, every dungeon we've been in, the torches have been lit for how, how long? Probably 100 years as well. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a believer now. Okay, well, shut up. I'll listen. Where can I learn about more about magic? Magic? Goodness, not here. Nothing dangerous like that. That's all kept to that college up in Winterhold. Better that than dealing with Ulfric's wizard like some do. Mm, fair enough. Okay. I'll show you to your room, right this way. You know, they, they say that they're racist, but they're not racist. They've not been racist to me. I mean, a Khajiit a bit more welcome. I know when I was a dark elf, they told me to to leave. Wait, like, every time I was here. Which one is it? Is it this one or this one? We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all Not that one. our lives. And when Look. Seven guard begins, Look. Scritch. One of us Stop. Dies. Come on, man. Okay, come in the room. Got some fresh baked this bread. Land yeah, is ours, and we'll see it white clean. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, let's have a bit of a look around first. Why not? All hail to Ulfric. You are the high king. In your great honor, we drink and we Hello. sing. That. Thank you. Anything else here? Ooh, strong box, eh? Yeah, we'll give it a go. I'm not above a little bit of thievery. Damn. If I'm good enough for it. There we go. What do we got in here? A little bit of gold. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We got some salt, frost salts, bread. We don't need that. We've got plenty of food. Name's Nils. I'm the cook up at Candleheart Hall. Right. Just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. Viola, I'm cutting wood. I pretend there's an Imperial soldier's head on the stump. Seem like a real riot, Mills. <laughs> okay, right. Oh yeah, the Dark Elves don't do anything. Look, she's a bard. She's here singing songs for you guys. Wait, what? The Butcher? Captain Lonely, we'll drive after what the happened to those other from this women, land that I'm worried own. about my own safety. Oh, okay. Who are you? Oh. I don't know. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. You are the High King. Now, more than ever, the world needs tales of heroism. Well, hello. We're the children that. of Sorry, no. Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. <laughs> I love the way they dance. Captain Lonelyhill. Call me Captain, because I used to be a sailor. Right, okay. <laughs> Folk are talking about nut murders. What a way to introduce yourself. Terrible shame, that. Seems we have a killer on the loose here in Vindhelm. Is it called Ulfric? claimed three victims that I know of. Though maybe there's more that haven't been found yet. All lovely ladies, too. Let's hope the gods find that demon soon and introduce him to the headman's axe. Yeah, right. I think that's fair. What kind of captain are you? Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my it's coin really distracting when he's time. trying to tell me his life story while he's dancing like when this. I retired here in Windhelm, most folk <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there he goes. He's finished, his, finished his drink. Ah, what's there to do in the city? If you're looking to pass the time, you can give colleagues to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. That's if fun. you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Cool, and uh, what are the prominent citizens in Wendell? There's an named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The okay. clans Shattershield and Cruelsea see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. Fair winds um... and calm seas. That's an old sailor's party. <laughs> really? <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, who are you? If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? I don't know those Leotelli's journal. Oh, it's a quest. Go on the web. I... 
So wait for that to disappear. Search Kronvug okay, for the two heroes. Okay. It's not uncommon these days to see warriors of great renown pass through Candle Half Hall, beckoned by the clarion call of war. Many of them seek themselves by the fire, order the spirit of choice, and regale the patrons with stories of their triumphs. It is, however, a strange thing to watch such a tale write itself in front of you. But that is precisely what happened when two legendary warriors, Granwolf the Brawer and Hol Holric the Frost Sword, sat down at the table beside me. Perhaps it was the mead that shortened their temper, but it did not take long for a spirited argument to become heated. Grenwolf, a brawl were famous for fighting with only his fists, had compared Holric to a soldier who fires a trebuchet, a man who is only as dangerous as the tool he, he employs. Holric, for his part, cut right through Grenwolf's claim. If the brawler relied only on his hands, then he should drink his mead from his palm and slice his bread with his fingernails. Not to mention there are things in this world... It's not really a... It's not really a burn, is it? It's not, not that savage. Not to mention there are things in this world, Holric said that fists alone cannot kill, even if that fist belonged to Rendergolf himself. Whereas his sword, the Ice Blade of the Monarch, was blessed by the strength of the frost itself and could cut through the walls of ice that lined the edge of the world. Grenolf scoffed at the notion, claiming that no man or beast had yet to survive a single punch. It was then that the divines, or perhaps Darker minds offered a resolution. A warrior came busting through the doors, claiming a monstrous spider had taken root in the Kronvanger cave. Rang, bleh, Kronvanger cave, claiming free in his hunting party. His widened eyes and frowned lips, telltale signs of fear, spoke volumes to us all. It was a warning few would fail to heed, but our two hearers saw it as something else entirely, an opportunity to settle their dispute. And so the next morning... They departed for Kronvenger Cave. Three weeks had passed since. In my life I have written tales of valor and tragedy, and those that are one and the same. And while the final chapter of Grenwolf and Holric has yet to be written, I fear that this may fall into the latter category, as neither has saw fit to return. Hmm, okay. Well, that's interesting to hold on to. Who are you? We're the only temple in Skyrim that can openly worship Talos. Oh, okay, so you're like a Talos. Tell me about Talos. Talos, sure. who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory, the only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Nern's the name of the planet, isn't it? It's like our planet Earth. It's called others. It's called Nern. What does Talos have to do with the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine, so the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do, and to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Strange, but okay. Uh, are the people of Windhelm devout? Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Okay, well, thanks for that. Of Appreciate it. Be upon you. I thought you... I thought you were a priest of Talos. Why are you blessing me with Arke? Surely you bless... That's... Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Susanna the Wicked. You didn't hear it from me, but if you want a real drink, try the Corner Club in the Grey Quarter. Did you know that candle on the mantel hasn't gone out in over a hundred oh, years? okay. Cool. Well, uh, can I speak to you now? Okay. Know any tales of nobility and courage? I'm keen to record them. Well, don't want to talk to me. Okay, well, let's have a, a bit of a sleep, shall we? Very much so. Oh, not this bed. This one. This one's ours. Right. Uh, it's mid midnight, so let's go for eight hours. Eight hours will do. We drink of water. Hang on. Ah, oh, right. There we go. Ooh, geez, we're hungry. Let's get some. Can we cook in here? I'm pretty sure. You all right, Janessa? Have you never seen a chandelier before? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, let's use the cooking pot. Let's make some more salmon steaks. We, we do have quite a bit, I think, of salt now. Uh, so we should probably 
stock the ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, we have nine. Try the corner club in the great so, ooh, we can make a hot cabbage suit. No, no, we're not. We're going to save the fire salts. We need those for uh, what's this his face, the guy in Rifton. The storm cloaks. Okay. What would you like to talk Food. We and let's snack on a little bit of that. Let's get the apple carrot cabbage stew. And we picked that up as well. Yeah, well said. To our youth, to the days hey Scratch, have you got any more food for me? For the age of oppression is now What's that you got there? Bread. We'll drive cool, out thanks. the empire from <laughs> this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back. Let's get out here and see what we can do in Windhelm. There's sir. no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. 100% agree. One of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Actually, no. Uh, I think all folks should be welcome here. And you're right. At least as far as I'm concerned. Well, you're one of the good ones. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. No, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Ulfric doesn't care about outsiders? Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of dark elf refugees gets ambushed? A group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan? No troops. No investigation. Nothing. It's the quiet There's racism, is it? There's a group of out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. What if I took care of the bandits? That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, that dark elf called you a war hero. I killed a lot of high elves in the Great War. And I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. That's a fair point. I mean, why help the Dark Elves? Help the Dark Elves? Oh, you must have heard me talking to Malfir. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords, and the folk beneath them. To be fair, the Empire has its problems like that too, but yeah, I, I can kind of get where you're coming from there. And uh, it is nice that he's, he's one of the good ones. Marauders what Windhelm justice tastes like. Right, do we want to go... Janessa, can I... Come, come with me. We need, we need to sell some stuff to the Name's Nils. I'm the cook of the to the blacksmith. So bring all of my stuff, please, Janessa. We have got stuff to sell I'm and stuff to smell. Kind, if that is what you wish. I would like to take the that. You can keep those on you. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll take that. We'll sell it. Lead on worth now. selling. Right. Let's do some smelting first. Some more iron ingots. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Okay, got all that. Then we want to go to probably here, I'd imagine. Have we got leather? That's that's what I'm not sure if we've got any any leather. Uh, iron, 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 iron. We do not. Is there a, a, a tanning rack? Oh, there is. Perfect. Let's use the saber cap help, probably. Actually, let's just let's get all of it. We might as well use all of it. We, we can get other things later. We don't need hundreds and hundreds of different things. Right, okay, iron. Let's make some... Iron daggers, I guess. It's not getting us proper levels, but it is slowly ticking us up. 
What if we yeah, probably try and make some dwarven stuff? So they've got dwarven ingots. Ebony, they don't really, do they? No. Hmm, got steel. Silver ore, moonstone, or a calcum. I think we can make orcish stuff now. Hmm. Oh, I might leave that for now. Sell the scaled armor. And those as well. Sure, we'll sell that too. Right, I think we're good there. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. And then she's oh, probably stuck. I never okay. expected Ulfric to live up to his legend, but he does. So what do we want to do? Yeah. Oh we had the we had the Thieves Quest stuff. Right, let's go do that. Uh, it is. What are they? Not those. The burglary job and the numbers job. There we go. Can't just so, the numbers job is Eunice's Corner Club. That shouldn't be too bad. Burglary job, jeweled flagon from Bella Halaru's house in Windhelm. They're all oh, they're in the, the, the Grey Quarter, aren't they? So we, we are committing crimes against the people who are actually the ones that are hard done by in uh, in, in Windhelm. I don't really feel we're helping the the, the issue here. Let's go to the corner cop first, that should be fairly easy. Hello! Is it downstairs? Upstairs. Anything here? Arturian Heresy? That actually I've never seen that book before. We'll keep that. So, yeah, take that. Why not? Why not? Potion. I'll take that too. Ooh. What if I do? I'll take the gold. And anything else that's worthwhile here? No, not really. Imperial armor. What are you? Frost Festival Revolt. Don't care about any of these things, they'll be fine. Hey, how's it going? Apparently some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. <laughs> Again, very strange opening for someone you've never met. How are the Dark Elves treated well, everyone at home? I imagine not very nicely with that attitude. Alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, like they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. There's been murders in Windhelm? None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. I can understand the, 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 the attitude, though. Why are there so many Dark Elves here? Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind, so we came west. Windhelm is the first city on that road, and here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Yeah, to be fair, you probably would have to walk quite a while. I mean, even White Run's kind of a little rough on there around the edges. Uh, where can I learn more about magic? The College of Winterhold is the only place in Skyrim open-minded enough to teach magic. Although Ulfric's court wizard has been known to take on apprentices once in a while. Yeah, maybe we do need to stop in with the court wizard and you need grab drink, some spells. I'll be right here. Who are you? I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. You ever think of moving to Morrowind? Not a day goes by that I don't think about returning to the ancestral home well, of my teleporting. People. Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, I've got ties here. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, Amberus can't run the corner club on his own. Because it it's pleasure. just heaving in here, right? <laughs> Can we talk a bit more? Can we get some else? What's... Quarter is not much to look at now, but it wasn't always so bad. Well, what's the Grey Quarter? Home is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. 
Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. That's kind of rough. All um, right, then. Thanks. Oh, I'll go. <laughs> I'll leave you to your heaving business. Uh, where else do we need to go? Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax. Can I sell stuff to you? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give oh. a holler if you have any questions. Oh, Riv Riven Sedri. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Why would I ask nothing in here is stolen, nothing at all? That's very presumptuous of me. Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Hmm. Okay, is that going to be marked on, marked on our map? I guess we'll ask that. Nothing, nothing is here in here is stolen? Nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. I, I can do that. I mean, I'm already on like a thieving quest. Like, like, why not? In fact, isn't that the person that I need to rob from? No, no, the of person down here, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But what else can a Dunmer do out here? Let's get ourselves in here, shall we? Oh, they see me. You see nothing. You see nothing. Right, <laughs> let's get inside. Ooh, close. A bit further, maybe? No, this way. There we go. Right, what are we doing in here? Stealing something? Ooh, a potion. Take that, thank you very much. Up or down? Up, okay. Oh, jeez, these houses are pretty rough, aren't they? What do we got? Dunmer of Skyrim. Knapsack. That, that, take that, and you know, I'll take that too. Good to get some interesting books. Gold. Jewel pitcher. Why can we not steal it? You can't steal it. What the hell? Why? Oh, weird. It's glitched. We, we can't, we can't steal this one. Hang on, let's just try a quick save. That might fix it. No. What about a hard save? How bizarre. How very, very strange. Yeah, we, we can't take it. Oh. Oh, it was like a glitched model. There was two inside each other. How weird. Oh, hang on. That was a jeweled flag and this is a jeweled picture. Oh. Oh, weird. That's so weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, oh well. Problem solved. Task failed successfully. Right, let's go drop this ring. We need quests. Take those back to Riften next time we're there. And this one we need to plant the gold ring. Let's drop those off for now. Marauding bandits and return the blade to Garcius Avachi. Hmm. Uttering Hills Camp. We could probably do that at some point soon because that'd be a fairly small quest, I think. Right, let's carry on with what we were currently working on, which was dropping a stolen ring back in the house that it's supposed if to be those in. White -run gods can take down the dragon, so can... What is this? Temple of Talos. Oh, okay. 
What's going on here? My job's simple enough. The dead don't really complain much. <laughs> I don't know. Have you met the Draugr? Let's go up here. It must be over this way. Masterwalk, eh? We can do it. We got, we got this. We've got another 50 lockpicks, should we need them. Oh. Ooh. A bit more. There we go. So we can think at a level from that. Okay. Let's put it in the dresser. I kind of want to steal that. Not going to lie. Yeah, why not? Let's let's take it. Uh, we need to drop off the apparel, and it's what, Viola's ring, is it? Viola's gold ring. Let's store that in there. And well, we well, we might as well have a look around while we're here, right? Might as well. Just all the stuff going to waste. Rock four bullet eggs. Take them. Good alchemical ingredients. Skeever tail. I think skeever tails are. Oh, is it charred, nice charred skeever hide salt pile? So I don't think we can do much with the skeever tail. In fact, can we do anything with the skeever tail? Oh no, it is an alchemical one. Let's do that one. Get that out of our inventory. Okay, right. What else we got? Anything we can pilfer? Gold? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Potions? No, no potions. Nothing there. Anything upstairs? I mean, we did our good deed for the day. We, we, we returned a stolen stolen ring. I think it's only fair that we take something for ourselves, right? That's, that's how laws of the land work. Extra magic. Sure, we'll take that. It's worth a bit, a bit of money. Be good to sell to fence off. Spirit of Nern. What have we got on the end table? A gold. A chest. More gold. Take it. Some more. More gold. End table. More gold. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to complain. Like, we are pretty poor right now. So I will take all the gold we can get. My god, Scritch, stop it. Oh, just. There we go. Right, okay. Potion of regen, coin purse, and lastly, a bit more gold. Ah, right. I'm sorry, Janessa, am I boring you? <laughs> you should be that tired. We just we just slept. Oh, I suppose no. I hired a bed. I got a rented a bed for myself. I didn't even take her into consideration, did I? I'm so rude. You saw nothing. Who are you? I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Yeah, I have. Heard about rough. You and your honeyed words. How? How have you heard about My me? I knew here. To just get on with our lives. Like it's that easy. Okay, right. So I suppose we could go check out that Calixto, is it? We'll check out this district too. We could probably sell some stuff. If you need anything, come see me. You live in the Grey Quarter. I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm. So yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here. Or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. That sucks. Well, what do you say? Where do you get goods? Wherever I can find them. If you're the type who worries over where something came from, you may want to move on. Fair call. Take a look. What can I sell to you? Oh wow, you actually sell all sorts of stuff. What can I sell to you? Minor wielding? I'll give you that. Potions, we could probably sell some other stuff here. Uh, sell those. Sell that. That. Keep that. Sell that. Keep those. What if I bought it? We'll sell that. We don't need it. Um, health, respiration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell those minor magicas. Sell that. Resist frost, sure. Resist poison. Ooh. No, I'll keep that for now. Sell those. Sure. What have you got, actually? Books. What have you got? Cow, you got spells. Ha. Huh. Adventure backpack. Wow, you've actually got quite a lot of stuff. 
green health. Lock picking, scaled helmet. Mm. It's all stuff we don't really have the money for. Yeah, we don't have the money for any of that. What about miscellaneous? Don't oh, we've got rich. Could buy a grand soul gem. And then sell. Some of these that we don't need. Yep, that'll do. That'll do sure me. To stop by Sadri's used wares in the Great Quarter. The eyes of the law are everywhere these days. Ooh. The guards are looking for Fruits a killer, but who right knows what else they might turn up. Good day. That's very. I that's very specific. As well as sell them. Yes, that's right. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Uh, why is your wife in mourning? Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong mead, but nothing gives my Tova peace. I've been looking for an amulet of RK to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. If I find one, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. Have a drink on me. Any ale or mead? Yeah, take one of these. You got yep. any ale or mead? Please forgive my mood. Oh, okay. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. Right, so there's murders going on. That's something to know. Name's Nils. I'm the cook up at Candlehall Hall. Let's go check out, uh, what's his face? Quickstar, was it? Let's see if he's in his little house of curiosities. Whose house is this? Here and news. Here and I. Hmm. Actually, that might be a good place to rob, because no one can see us here. Oops. There we go. <laughs> you just went through the front door. Okay. Not really very subtle, Janassa, but thanks, I guess. Right, what do we got? We got salt, frost, frost salts. Cool. That's good. Alchemical stuff. Very nice. Uh, we've got empty dresser. We don't want any of that. End table. Take some gold. Nope. Not really a big house, is it? But isn't she the. Actually, she's the. Um, the high elf, isn't she, Nerenye? Nerenai? I'm assuming she's, she's got the Talos mistake in a city that is very much pro Talos. So I'm assuming it's the High Elf. Oh, gold. Right. Okay, let's get out of here. Actually, I want to confirm that. Let's go check. Let's go check who, what her name is. So that is. Niranoi. Who have we got selling stuff over here? Nair and I. I, I, ooh, I've got, I mean, am I being, am I sort of applying my prejudices there? She's got a book called The Towers Mistake that suggests that she's not really on board with what Skyrim and Ulfric are doing, so why she come here from Somerset? Hmm. Oh, right, never mind. Let's go see Calixto. Can I help you? Yeah, I've been told good things about your little Welcome to the museum. House of curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. How did you assemble this collection? My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. I mean, you've got some, like, rotting giant toes on the table there. I, don't, I can't imagine that's going to bring that many smiles. That's, that seems a little grim. Uh, you managed to tour. I did. 
For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. I'll take the tall two bones, fine. If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. You'll, you'd be hard pressed, my dude. I've, I've literally faced down dragons. The Book of These Fate. These tools oh. were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. They belong to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Can we read it? Can we pick it up? only blank pages, and nobody right, well, knows drop why. a quick save. I'm interested Perhaps to see if we can pick it up and read it. With no destiny. Oh. Yeah, there are no pages for us. Maybe the blank oh, we can pick it up. He's not angry. An imminent death. Well, that's foreboding, <laughs> if that is the case, because we saw nothing. Ah, now here's an item out of legends. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. That is a fork. Now I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon. It's exactly what I'm it's thinking. A fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know Iskramor. <laughs> is Iskramor the Chuck Norris of Skyrim? <laughs> Don't let this innocent looking flute fool you. Iskramor's so tough he can eat soup with a fork. <laughs> Wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins. I completely missed that. I was too busy laughing at the Chuck Norris of Skyrim, sorry. Uncontrollably, no matter the peril. I wish we could play instruments. That'd be cool. Power, one must only speak the magic words, which are. <laughs> oh my! I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? I wonder how many times that's, that line's been said. And with Smells. that, the tour is over. Oh. I thank you for your patience. Not out in here, are we not? And I hope to see you again soon. Janessa was not impressed. She's yawning. She's not happy at all. All right. Well, I think we can leave it at there. We we did read that diary earlier, uh, so we did do a little bit of reading Welcome already. To the House of Curiosity. And I think yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. We we've arrived at Windhelm. We've talked to a few people. We've got a few quests. Um, I think next episode we will probably look at maybe talking to Ulfric. And then maybe heading back to Riften so we can hand in these Fees Guild quests and, and maybe start doing a few more of those in between episodes just so we can uh, get a few more of the vendors opened up uh, as well. Uh, because there are a lot of fetch quests, I think I mentioned this before, but because they're all very basic fetch quests, unless we're going to a new city, I'm probably not going to be doing them on camera because it's just go in a house, take some stuff, leave. It's, it's not that interesting seeing it 20 odd times. But I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I, I've had fun, and it's been interesting getting to Windhelm and playing it as a Khajiit, because uh, honestly it's not been as bad as I thought it would be as far as the racism. That's a dragon over there. Is that the one that we have to fight for? We could do that, actually. Are we heading to Kynesgrove or something to, to fight a dragon, like over here somewhere, for uh, what's-her-face? Seriously, yeah, What is the, what is the name? Completely forgot. Let's even find it. Not one of those. It's. Oh, we've got these two. Trader's Post is nearby. We might do that. That could be fun. Calselmo. That's Markov. We could do that as well. Hmm. Delphine. That's a name. So where's that? That is. Yeah. Because there's Kynesgrove. It's just up from Kynesgrove. We could do that and sort of uh, push the main quest on a little bit and then go to Riften. Uh, we'll see how we go. So yeah, next episode, well, we've got options. We can go to Trader's Post, which I think is up here, or we can go off to fight a dragon, which, uh, honestly, that might be a good idea. I'm, mm, again, magic-wise, not so good. We might try and get a level in between this episode and the next and, and maybe pump some into magic resistance if we can. But we'll see how we, we'll see where we go. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Bye for now.
Visit Khajiit.